everyone to the Infotrain Addo session today. I'm Michelle Seifert, International Sales Manager for Addo Technology. Um, today we'll be covering a topic I think we can all relate to these days, remote working data storage solutions with everyone being at home. Um, our panelists today are Tom Johnson, Addo Product Specialist with a focus on Ethernet, and Business Development Manager Noe Azasi of Infotrend. Um, I actually have known Noe for quite some time, and he's very, very experienced in delivering Ethernet, or excuse me, um, delivering media and entertainment solutions uh, to integrators around the world. And today's agenda topics uh, will include We're going to do a brief introduction to the media and entertainment workflows. We'll do some performance and use cases. We'll review the Infotrendion Store GS product, some cloud setups, and I think most important to a lot of us, some home setups, security. We'll review some Addo product overview, the advantage of putting this solution together in today's market. And then, of course, we'll take some time to go over some questions and answers at the end. So if I can, I think let's begin. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I just uh, had my mic on, on mute. Uh, yes, uh, I was saying thank, thank you all for attending. Uh, thank you, uh, Michelle, for the introduction. Um, so today we are going to be talking about uh, remote working, but we are going to be focusing on, on media and entertainment. So firstly, to start with, uh, we are going to have a quick look at a typical media and entertainment uh, workflow. Uh, for a uh, 4K. So obviously, um, there are some groups uh, uh, of uh, studios uh, that will won't, won't work a 4K row from start to finish. So they will use some kind of compression, could be Avid DNX or ProRes. And uh, we can very easily handle those. But also, if they are working on, on 4K row, um, they would normally work through uh, stages. So until actually they uh, conform and do color grading, um, they won't need uh, this uh, really high performance. So we are going to have a look at uh, the solution we are proposing on the next slide. So this will be uh, for people that works uh, remotely, and they they need to do uh, about 800 megabytes per second uh, throughput uh, maximum. Um, so what we are looking at is they will be they will be having their centralized storage in their studios. And then we will facilitate a, a cloud gateway which allow them to download the, the content uh, from so it will be uploaded to the cloud and then they'll be able to download it to their uh, home uh, workstations. So the solution will include our GS um, Gen2 on-premises, um, the Eon Cloud Gateway, uh, which will integrate with all the workflow, the GS E Pro, which is a small uh, version of the of the GS family, five or eight pay, and then uh, all the connectivity will be done via uh, auto adapters. So. Uh, just a quick overview on the GS, uh, which will be the centralized uh, storage uh, solution. Uh, this is a high performance uh, solution with high scalability. Uh, it is highly flexible and will provide a fully redundancy. Um, it does integrate with the cloud um, and we do have a, a user friendly management tool which can help IT managers. So here is the Eon Store GS. Yes. Um, the nice thing about it is that it's a hybrid solution. So we can have both at the same time uh, hard drives and SSDs in it. And we can create a SAN and a block level volumes. Um, so you could potentially have uh, some uh, high performance uh, clients uh, connected uh, via a fiber channel to the SAN volume. Uh, and you could also uh, have this uh, extra uh, Ethernet volume for easy access for sharing files, uh, do, doing rendering, and all these uh, low uh, requirement uh, connections. Then <clears throat> this obviously, as I mentioned earlier, integrates easily with the with the cloud. Um, 
is a highly flexible solution. So um, everything is, is modular. Um, you can start uh, with 8 gig fiber channel uh, and or uh, 10 gig ethernet. And then as the needs uh, of the studio grows or the technology move forward, you can easily um, just get a, a new ho a host adapters and, and replace them. It's all tool free and it's as easy as uh, getting the new adapters and, and replacing them. So it is a uh, highly available. So it comes with uh, two power supplies and two controllers. It's all hot swappable. Uh, it's cableless, so it's a uh, very easy to service uh, hardware. Um, it provides high availability. Um, so a really nice uh, feature is that we do a uh, middle right back gas. Um, what this means is that instead of doing a right through, which you are uh, more familiar with, uh, and writing, when there is a, a power cut, uh, instead of writing uh, the gas into the hard drives, which will uh, slow down all the, the transmission, uh, what we do is we have uh, an SSD in the controller. So all the gas is moved into this SSD if the power goes down. And then when the power is back uh, is when uh, this uh, data is transmitted into the gas, so you have a smooth uh, restart and there is no uh, rate corruption or data losses. We also do um, a, a gas a protection and we incorporate a supercapacitor, which is long life. So there is no need uh, to service uh, this very often. It's, it's uh, designed to uh, for long uh, lasting operations. So. And then we also integrate some uh, corruption uh, pre prevention. So we take all the time for uh, damage uh, this block and we have some uh, uh, self-healing functions. So the system will check uh, for these uh, deteriorated uh, blocks uh, all the time and will be healing in the background. Uh, and we also have a great rebuild prevention what this does is that obviously Infotrain has been working with hard drives for a while and we know what a drive, uh, a drive does before failing. So we look for these signs all the time. And when we detect uh, these signs into a hard drive, we start copying the data across to the rate and building a new parity before the drive actually fails. So um, we will then just send a message saying this drive needs to be uh, replaced uh, before it actually uh, fails. We obviously also provide rate six. So you still have to uh, parity in the rate system. So this is uh, an, an overview of the problem. Um, as, you, as you may have experienced, uh, some uh, people now need to work for, uh, mm -hmm. from remote uh, location. Um, and the problem we are seeing and the feedback we are getting is that, yes, people uh, sometimes uh, connect remotely to their, their workstation in the studio and they see their content via streaming. Sometimes their streaming applications are not uh, good enough uh, for the work they want to do, but also they experience some latency. So what we are proposing here is our uh, DS, as I said, in the studio, which will be the centralized storage. and uh, the remote editors could have a small version, which is the GSE Pro, uh, which will be syncing files uh, from the studio through the cloud and into their uh, home uh, storage uh, solution. So here is a, a little video just explaining how easy uh, it is to set up um, to set up the the cloud gateway. Um, don't be afraid, it's just a very uh, little video. Uh, it's a really uh, easy process. Hi, my name's Alex with Infotrend and today we're going to talk about our Eon Cloud Gateway. Because in today's businesses, file sharing between enterprises make transactions easier. But how would you connect the data center in your enterprise to the cloud? Well, the answer is with Infotrend's Eon Cloud Gateway because you don't need to change the IT environment that you're used to. 
You don't need to install new software nor set up new servers. You can seamlessly connect your local storage to the cloud and simply share your files with anyone anywhere in the world. You just need to follow three steps. So let's get started. First, choose a cloud service provider and we support major cloud services. Then enter your access key and click OK. Choose a cloud bucket you want to connect to. Here's the second step. You'll create a local folder that connects to the cloud. Click on the plus icon to create a data syncing task. Choose the syncing direction. Then, choose a local share folder. And choose a destination folder on the cloud. Now, click OK to finish the task setup. The two chosen folders are now connected with each other and ready to run the task. Here comes the final step. You're going to sync your data to the cloud. It's now syncing your local data to the cloud. For more information on Eon Cloud Gateway, come visit our official website and social media platforms. Thank you from Infratrend. Yes, so as you saw, uh, setting up uh, the cloud uh, syncing is, is a very easy task. Um, we saw uh, this explanation from Alex in just uh, two minutes. Um, so now we are back to um, the full solution. So here we have our uh, GS, uh, GS uh, EON store in the, in the studio, which will be our centralized storage. Um, which is integrated thanks to the Eon Cloud Gateway to the to the cloud, so you can uh, sync files to the cloud as as we spoke earlier, uh, and then you can download this file into your uh, home uh, desktop storage. Uh, um, this uh, this uh, storage is the GSE Pro, and we we have it in two uh, sites, so it's uh, five bay and eight bay. And it comes with some of the, well, actually most of the functionality that you get on the bigger GS. So um, we can do a file volume, um, block volumes, and also use SSD and hard drives at the same time. Um, then Atto uh, will provide the connectivity. Um, Atto um, and us, we test each other, and we can obviously provide you a certification uh, list. So for peace of mind, uh, you can check our storage is uh, is uh, certified by us, and then we can fully support the solution. But also, Atto is uh, fully multi-platform, so they not only support Windows and Mac, um, uh, Windows and Linux. They are also uh, they they have a really close relation with Apple, and they are really good at supporting all the new uh, operative systems in Apple, which. In my own experience, other um, Ethernet manufacturers um, doesn't doesn't do so well. So you have, for peace of mind, a fully supported uh, solution here. Uh, this uh, solution will allow you to sync files uh, in 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 both ways. So you can uh, sync from the the storage to the uh, to the to your uh, home, but you can also have a separate folder to upload uh, files for delivery. So now we are going to talk a little bit about the, the security. Um, all the connections uh, when you are syncing your, your data are uh, SSL encrypted. So should anyone intercept any of your data, they won't be able to see what, uh, what it is. Um, so it's fully secure. Um, we also support uh, AES uh, 256 military grade encryption for archiving if that's, if that's a need. Um, and by working uh, this way, um, you could easily build a three to one uh, backup compliant uh, uh, workflow. So what this is, is that you will have all the time three copies of the data. In this case, you will have your uh, copy at your uh, desktop uh, unit at home. Uh, you will have your copy uh, in the cloud and another copy uh, on premises. So when you uh, deliver your work, um, 
and you do all the checksums, make sure that all the, the content is perfectly fine, and you can then delete uh, these copies. But during all the process, um, you are fully covered. And then uh, you are using two different type of storage. And why this is important is because um, when you use a type of media, uh, we see that often these media trend to fail at the same time. So if you use uh, hard drives in a, in a RAID set, um, these uh, hard drives have been used for the same time. <clears throat> they are, uh, excuse me, so they've been uh, worked uh, equally. Um, so it is very likely when, when one of them fail, actually you will get a further uh, failure by having different type of media. Uh, you reduce um, you reduce uh, the chance of a chain uh, failure. Um, and finally, uh, you need to keep at least one copy uh, of site. This is uh, obvious. Uh, it can uh, occur a disaster. Uh, so by keeping copies in different places, uh, you will be safe. Uh, in this case, we will have uh, three different locations. So this will be like three to one uh, plus uh, a compliant uh, solution. Let's call it like that. And this is finally our Eon storage, uh, Eon One uh, storage management software. Um, focusing on remote working, what this will allow, uh, this will allow IT managers to see all the status of the storage uh, around the world uh, from a single uh, web GUI. So this will make their work uh, much easier, but also it has some automatization built into it. So what this allows the system to do is uh, check the status of all the components of the system. If something uh, is wrong, if there is an issue, uh, it will automatically uh, create uh, an alert that will go both to the IT manager uh, that you will uh, set up when you initialize uh, Eon One. So the IT manager will get an email, but also uh, Infotrain support uh, will get this alert as well. If the problem is an uh, FRU, so if it's a field uh, uh, replaceable uh, unit that failed, uh, we will start automatically creating an RMA. Uh, all of this without a human intervention from from the client. So it helps you uh, gain in time, uh, especially these times where you may have people uh, working in different places. It makes uh, the life of the IT managers much easier. So now, <clears throat> just a quick summary of what, we, what we've been talking. So um, as I say, you will have your centralized uh, storage. Um, and thanks to the Eon Cloud Gateway, it will allow you to sync data from a decentralized storage to uh, your remote locations. Um, we talk about optimum tested interoperability between uh, us and ATO. Um, and we obviously have our Eon One, which makes the life of the IT manager uh, much easier. ATO also brings in their ATO 360, which I'm not going to go in too much uh, details because obviously Tom will do uh, this um, later on. Um, but it, it also have some um, monitoring and tuning uh, functions which uh, will help them uh, help their their uh, clients uh, better. Um, Ato is fully multi-platform and you will have a future-proofed uh, investment thanks to first our uh, configuration flexibility so let's say people is uh, back uh, to the studio, you will be able to adapt uh, to their needs and change uh, fiber or ethernet adapters as needed. Um, and you can obviously reutilize uh, the, the auto connectivity back in the studio. Um, it's a secure uh, solution as we uh, explore. So you have encryption end to end in all the communications and you can easily build a three to one compliant uh, workflow if this is a, a requirement um, uh, for you. So I think this is all on my side and then I will uh, hand you over to, to Tom, which is gonna be, uh, talk a little bit uh, more in detail about Atom. Thanks, Tommy. 
Yeah, so as uh, Noe said that, uh, you know, we've, uh, Addo has had a, a great relationship with uh, InfoTrend uh, for many years. Uh, Addo, uh, for over 30 years now, has been making um, connectivity. Um, we are known for our uh, fiber channel and SAS um, cards, um, which we have tested and, and validated with uh, InfoTrend uh, products. Uh, but today I wanted to focus on our, our Ethernet um, line. Um, we have uh, been uh, well over a decade making uh, high-speed uh, Ethernet NICs, so 10 gig. Um, uh, we go up to, uh, right now we have three generations, and we have validated um, 10, 25, and 40 gig um, solutions for Infotron. Um, we do have extensive driver support. So um, as Noe mentioned, um, we are, uh, we are uh, well known throughout the Mac community. Um, we have uh, some proven drivers in that space, but we also support Windows and, and Linux. Um, our Ethernet uh, NICs in particular are the lowest uh, power consuming um, cards on the market. Um, and we also do a good job uh, consulting with our customers on fiber optics. Uh, most of our uh, products have um, optical transceivers included, uh, but some of them also, uh, but, but we'll also consult with you and figure out the right ones to, to go where, which is especially in the 25, 40, 50, and 100 gig world, that can become a, a major issue. Um, and we're well versed on that and can help our customers. Um, and advanced technologies, uh, um, you know, things that would be coming down the pipe, um, we always stay ahead of the curve when it comes to that. We're, we're well known for our expertise in the storage world. Um, as well as support, um, we're, we're, we're well known to be um, to answer questions fast um, and have the right kind of experts. Um, and that leads me to the, the, the main thing I just wanted to talk to you guys about briefly is, is the newest offering, um, Addo 360. It, it's a tuning, monitoring, and, and analytics application. What, what we did was um, the uh, you know 12 years or so that we've been making Ethernet products. Um, we've we've noticed that you know Ethernet um, configuration and, and di diagnosing problems um, with client connectivity on the Ethernet side um, is not it's not very easy. Uh, it can be very frustrating. Sometimes you need a, um, a, a an expert. Um, you have to be an expert in network engineering. Um, and we tried to condense uh, literally all of the pain points that our customers have had over the years into a, a simple, um, easy-to-use um, management interface. Um, so 360 is an all-purpose tool, and, and it covers tuning, analytics, and monitoring. Uh, on the tuning side, um, what we've done is um, tested um, the, uh, the right knobs and buttons to push to give you the most um, optimized um, settings for the type of workflow that you want to use. So, for instance, if it's high throughput, or low latency, and we have a, a few other profiles inside of our application. And over time, we'll keep adding more. So, you know, be on the lookout for other um, types of, of profiles for, for the specific workflow that you're using. Um, but as the user only um, really has to hit one button, um, and in the background, uh, we're making several changes. Um, depending on the operating system, we can make up to 11 um, different um, sys control changes or settings and making sure the, the client, um, the things that we can control, the client, the NIC, and the operating system are in the right um, uh, modes um, for you to be getting um, the right type of response for, for your uh, environment, um, specifically high throughput. Um, that can uh, boost, boost performance significantly. Um, on the analytics side, um, it, we have a diagnostics engine uh, that works like the check engine light does in, in your car. Um, you'll see a little red warning uh, uh, sign, and, and if it's lit up, then you know there's something um, that uh, the Addo 360 is seeing that might uh, might be affecting your performance in, in, in a negative way. Um, so you can get instant advice from, from our experts. And so we literally poured um, years of our experience, things that have gone awry in the field, and we've automated um, that uh, troubleshooting task. So this allows you to not only diagnose problems faster, but you don't have to be an expert to uh, find out what's going on. It also um, limits uh, human interaction, so admins can just kind of get a diagnostic log from 
360 with uh, messages about what what is uh, potentially going wrong with the client, and you can take action uh, remotely. Um, on the monitoring side, our uh, experts have found the most uh, relevant um, data points that, that are important to your client and, and your connection to the InfraTrend box. Um, and we put all that data in a really simple, um, easy to use area, in one simple area. So we've collected it from 12 or 13 different places and, and put it all in one, one place for you. Um, we've just released a, a version two of Battle 360 and uh, put out a new feature called 360 View. Um, so whereas our first version of 360 just kind of took a snapshot of all the metrics and statistics and can kind of make decisions based on what's going on at any given moment, um, we've now added a, a, a time series uh, database that records all of this, uh, your performance data and uh, metrics with uh, regard to packets and things going across the wire. Um, and we record them over time. And now we can actually do point in time analytics so we can analyze trends. Um, we can make much more informed decisions with the, uh, the new uh, feature 360 view. So in, in summary, uh, with, with Addo 360, um, if you're an end user or a reseller, the, the, the major uh, uh, um, uh, appreciation is, is getting you back to work faster. Um, you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to um, know what types of knobs and buttons to push to get the best performance. Um, you can get back to doing the things that you like uh, faster. So stop worrying about being a network engineer or configuring and spending more time on, on creating content and, and doing the things that, that you love and generate revenue. Um, so these powerful optimization tools are, are all put into this uh, simple, easy-to-use software um, and giving you better visibility, especially when you're re working remotely. You want to make sure you got the, the best settings. You want to make sure you have to um, spend less time, um, you know, fussing around, basically. Um, for resellers, this, this will bring your support costs down and your return on investment up. Um, it's going to increase your customer satisfaction. Your customers will, will keep going to you as the go-to um, resource. And you could really uh, reduce uh, human interaction with some of the uh, remote capabilities and, and monitoring that, that 360 uh, provides. So in summary, uh, you know, Addo and InfraTrend are, are just better together. Um, we have Fiber Channel, Ethernet, and SaaS products. They've all been tested and, and validated uh, with InfraTrend's products. And you can go on our website and uh, uh, under interoperability and, and see which uh, which cards have been tested, uh, but we're also very flexible in our support. So if you, um, uh, if there are, if there are optics that need to be approved, um, you can get that done very quickly through us. Um, and with Addo 360, you now have, uh, better manageability and, and better performance so that you can optimize, monitor, and, and diagnose, uh, your client connection, uh, remotely with, with ease. That's uh, that's all I have. I guess uh, we can open it up for, for questions. Um, Michelle, do you have it? So if we could take just a quick second, and if uh, you could type any questions you have in the chat section, um, that would be helpful. So we'll take a couple seconds, um, and then I'll look at some questions, and I'll read them for Tom and Noe to answer. So I do have one already that I guess I'll start with if I can. Um, and I think this is probably more for InfraTrend, but uh, what cloud providers are supported by Eon Cloud, Noe? So we support uh, all of the major ones. Um, it obviously needs to be uh, a hybrid uh, cloud providers. So we wouldn't support, um, and I, I, I say this because I get the question uh, quite often, so we would, wouldn't support OneDrive, but we do support uh, Microsoft Azure, which is their uh, enterprise hybrid cloud equivalent. 
Um, so we support Azure from Microsoft. We support uh, Google Cloud. Uh, we support um, Amazon uh, Web Services, um, and so so many of the of the, the big ones. Okay. Tom, I get asked this a lot as well from our side. Um, how much does that O360 cost? I, I I apologize. I didn't mention that today. We we it is absolutely free. Um, it is a free download on our website. Um, and you can go and and download it today. Um, even if you don't have an auto adapter, um, there are some um, settings and um, uh, monitoring that you can do um, with any NIC. Um, and it will, uh, you know, selfishly, it, it will show you what more you can do if you have an addo. Uh, but you can you can download that today and, and make your life easier with your Ethernet connection. So, Noe, along with that, the other question that was also asked with it is how much is the Eon store, I mean, Eon cloud cost? So what we talked today, which is uh, syncing uh, to the cloud, that's absolutely free. So... Uh, you can you can sync uh, to the cloud for free up to five uh, up to five uh, files. Uh, if you want to go over that, uh, you will need to uh, to get some extra licensing. Um, licensing depending on what you want to do. Obviously, we we talk only about syncing today, but there is uh, so much uh, possibilities. Uh, it goes up to uh, three thousand dollars. But to do what we talk about today is, is absolutely free. You also get three months uh, free licensing. So for the first three months, you can uh, make a full use of the cloud uh, for free. Well, I think with today's market, everyone enjoys free from both Addo yes. and into trends. Um, and then, Tom, we'll take time for one last question that I think this is it's for Addo 360. Um, what kind of performance benefit do you see with a, having the tuning um, profiles? Okay, so uh, with profiles, there it really depends on what operating system. Um, so 360 is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, and if if um, you know with, with Ethernet tuning, um, you know there's a saying in the network engineering world that it's a four-letter word. It can be very frustrating at times. Um, there are sys, you know we have personally put over 300 sys control settings into our driver. Um, if you know about ETH tool, you know, there's, there's 900 different commands, over 900 commands that you can do. So we have, uh, we've gone and sifted through literally, you know, thousands of, of different settings. I mean, when you add on the things that you can do with the operating system and, and just, uh, um, all of that environment. But, um, so the most I've ever seen uh, was on a Mac and it was a 30%, um, from the default profile to the high throughput file. Um, and, but the least I've seen is we can we can still get you a 10% boost on Linux machines. Um, it's, it's a little bit in between with with Windows, so it really it really depends. But it, you, between 10 and 30% is generally the area that you're going to see um, when you're comparing it to how it, how it behaves when you just plug it in. Thank you. Well, that's it. I think uh, we'll wrap it up from here. I'd like to thank everyone for taking time out of your day. Uh, for joining our session. Uh, this is being, this has been recorded, so we can make it available uh, for your download and reviewing in the future as well. And thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Have a great day. Cheers.